Galnet News Update, 4th of April 3310. The Defence Council of Humanity has declared that it is essential Titan Oya be destroyed this week, after the Titan staged a last-minute attempt to bolster its defences. Unlike Titans Tyrannus and Ligong, Oya is taking steps to avoid its defeat. It has started probing 23 new alert systems today. The Pilots' Federation has issued an alert noting with surprise that the Titan has sent Orthrus interceptors to probe systems more distant than ever before. It urges pilots to prevent these alert systems from becoming invasions, and that it may take several weeks more to destroy Titan Oya. It is true that if it cannot be destroyed this week, Oya will control more systems and consequently become far harder to defeat next week and in subsequent weeks. So despite the Titan's resistance remaining high, the decision has been made by the Defence Council, the Anti-Xeno Initiative and others to ignore the Pilots' Federation's advice to prevent expansion and that we must attempt to destroy all eight of the Titan's hearts before Thursday next week. This will not be easy. The hearts will be harder to damage and the credit rewards will be poorer. But the alternative would be weeks more working to undermine Titan Oya's newly expanded support network. We must do this not because it is hard, but because not doing it will ultimately be harder. All combat-capable craft with nanite torpedoes and caustic sink launchers are urged to do their bit. In other news, the Achilles Corporation claims that in the space of the last two weeks it has managed to research the Titan Drive components retrieved from Tyrannus and Ligong and has completed its designs for a revolutionary new frameshift drive to rival the ubiquitous model manufactured by the Sirius Corporation. A spokesperson for the Sirius Corporation expressed doubt that Achilles will be able to deliver a solution. Achilles was vague about when they planned to make the new drive available, but if they managed to research and design the drive in two weeks, the manufacturing process will presumably be equally rapid. Whether anyone is willing to test the drive out is another matter. Nobody wants to be the one to be spaghettified by a hastily assembled prototype. 